personal effort we are expected to make. The one is repeated application of the lower mind to get at the yoga that is with us. That is what is called self awareness. Be aware of yourself that the mind and the center the senses are going into reaction and make an attempt to suspend the process. The second is what is called detachment. That is, go grow passive to the curiosity nature of the mind towards the external stimuli. This is the second thing. When these two are being constantly applied, when the awareness is repeated more and more often, it becomes a continuous awareness. And you will begin to live in a continuous awareness of your higher existence or the higher consciousness, which becomes stronger and stronger and more established. Then your lower existence goes out of your perception. That is, it begins to get absorbed in the awareness of your higher consciousness. Then gradually you will begin to live in the ninth aspect of nature. That also we have seen. The eight aspects of nature are within the control of the three qualities of nature, are the Gunas. The three qualities are, as we have seen, inertia, dynamism, and poise. And when one of the first two qualities are dominating, the mind and the senses begin to react to the environment. If it is to the inertia, the mind and the senses want to stick to the same thing without any change. That is what we call habit. <coughs> when the quality of dynamism is dominant, then there is unstability. The mind and the senses crave for something new and a change. Every time we will be tempted to change the environment, change our contacts with the persons, and sometimes change the job and profession, change the place, or change the residence like this. We have a peculiar madness for change to have something new. In either way, the mind and the senses are responding to the environment and they are not able to feel their own true nature. Because the nature they are contacting is the nature of the environment and the nature of the reaction and not their own nature. Now, by growing aware of this self, and when the awareness becomes continuous day by day, you will develop to grow into the higher nature, which is, the, which is called the ninth nature. The eight aspects of nature, they are under the purview of these two qualities, and the third is called five. Though it is one of the three qualities, it is the quality that gives us a flip to get absorbed into the higher nature. Therefore, it is desirable. However, now it is to be understood that through this twofold effort, making continuous, that is the effort of the lower mind, we go into the contact 
of the higher or self the real self from the not self and then we will experience the true our self that is called the highest being so gradually we will have a touch of our highest being which we afterwards call soul which is nothing but a appearance of the spirit the blood of the universe now through this attempt patanjali says the highest being presents himself to us that is the highest being is the higher our self presents to our self means the lower our self the not self the not self is sublimated into the higher our self that is how he presents himself to us then gradually what happens is he reduces his presence as our mind and then he uses his presence as our senses and the activity of the senses and of course he uses his presence also as what we call environment previously we contacted the environment as something different but when once the touch of the soul is there we will make a contact of the environment knowing that it is ourself because the same thing feels all that is the next legitimate result of our efforts the only thing is the repetition should be remembered until it becomes a continuous awareness repeat the idea of awareness until it becomes a continuous awareness so in the 16th aphorism he says then the highest being presents himself and he says he has no qualities the highest being has no qualities that is the three qualities now we have an idea of the highest being in us who is higher ourselves and then the nature which is the ninth aspect of nature we are the eight and then the eight aspects of nature which are under the control of the three qualities and then the mind and the five senses and then the body and its vehicles 